In this session, I will talk about material requirement planning. Based on product tree, we compute the number of components and number of pieces that we need. This is a product tree. We have a product A. To produce each unit of product A, we need two units of product B and one unit of product C. For each unit of product C, we need 2E and we need 2F. For each unit of product B, we need 3D. Therefore, for two units of product B, we need 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. For each unit of product B, we need one unit of product E or component E. For two of that, we need 2E. For each product D, we need four E's. Therefore, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. We need 24 E here, 2 E here, and 2 E here. Therefore, total, we need 28 E. D, we need 6. F, we need 2. B, we need 2. C, we need 1. And A, we need 1. For 1 A, we need 2 B and 1 C. 6 D, 2 F, and 28 B. Here I have typed the same information. Now let's look at this problem. Here we need 10A. For each A we need 2B and 1C. Now suppose we need 10As and suppose we have 4B, 10C, 8D, 60E and no F. Since I need 10A, therefore, I will need 2 times 10 equal to 20B. And because I have 4 Bs, therefore, I need 16 Bs, and this inventory is 0. For each A, I need 1C. For 10A, I need 10C. But because I already have 10 C's, therefore I need no C. Because I need no C here, therefore I do need any E or any F. Since I need 16 B, then I have 16 times 3, which is equal to 48 D. I have 8 D's. Therefore, I need 40 Ds, and that inventory is also zero. This inventory is also zero. I need 16 B, and for each B, I need one E here. Therefore, that is one times 16. That is 16. But I already have 60 E minus 60, and that will leave me with. 44. So that 60 is turned into 44. Let me repeat the same thing. So that is the computation 10 times 2, 10 times 1, minus inventory, minus inventory. 16 units of B is needed and no C. Therefore, we are done with this bracket. And that is the same computation, 16 times 3 minus inventory. That is what is needed. And here also 16 times 1 minus inventory. That is what is still left 
in inventory. So we have 44 here, and therefore here I have 16 times 4. Is that correct? Do I need 16 times 4? No, because for each B I need 3D, and for each D I need 4E. So this 16 cannot directly come from E. It should go to D first. Should I put 16 times 3, which is 48 here? No, because out of that 48, I have some inventory over there, and I need only 40. So what I should do, I should bring this 40 and put it here and make it 40. Now 40 times 4 is equal to 160e. But I have 44e over there, which is here too. I should subtract minus 44 and that is 116. And that is 116. So this is the end of the story, what we need of each component to end up with 10 units of A for which we had no inventory of. And these are the numbers 116, 40, 16, and nothing here and nothing here. Now let's solve this problem. We have a product A. We have the inventory of all the parts, raw material, and components that are supposed to go into B. And also, we have the requirements. For example, for each A, we need 2B. And therefore, if I have 20A, if I need 20A, then I need 40B. For each A, I need 1C. Therefore, for 20A, I need 20C. But I do have 10 inventory, and that makes it 10. For B also, I have 10 units of inventory, so I subtract it and make it 3. Now we go to D for each unit of A, we need 3D, and therefore for 20, I need 60D. But I do have 25D, therefore 60 minus 25, that will be 35. So I need 35 here, D, I need 10 here, C, and I need 30 here, B. Here I need 30, so that would be 30 times 2, which makes it 60. That would be 30 times 3, which makes it 90. 10 times 2, which makes it 20. 10 times 2, which makes it 20. 35 times 4, which makes it 140. 35 times 2 makes it 70. And these are what I need. But here, this is E, this is E, this is E. Add them up. Same thing that I computed over there, and the same thing that I have computed it here. E, I need 30 times 2, which is 60, but I have 12, and that leaves 48. 30 times 3 is 90, minus 30, which is over there, makes it 60. 10 times 2, which is 20, minus 5 makes it 15. 10 times 2, 20, and I have already depleted what I had from E, so I have no inventory for E anymore, so I need all 20. H. 35 times 4, as I said, 140, 
and we have no edge so we need this one 40 and e again we are already out of e but here we need 35 times 2 which is 70 so a i need 20 b i need 30 c 10 d 35 then when i go to the next level 60 f 15 G 140 H and E I need 70 here 90 plus 48 138 138 60 15 140 B is 30 we have found it here, C is 10, we have found it here, and D is 35, we have found it here. Seems we are fine.